looks like it's Madison Building, Section G. The response was possibly on Albert Wong, a 36-year-old male. He's a former resident, has a semi-automatic with a lot of ammo. He's just let three hostages go. We're still getting further. Five, 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 and units be advised he is a previous Marine or was in the Army. He had bullets around his waist and other stuff in his jacket. Unknown what. He was discharged two weeks ago. Stand by for a description. 10 for still getting a description. Again, he's in Madison Hall, building G, the pathway house. The responsible is an Asian male, 5'6", 150, wearing a baseball hat. Yeah, but we're 32. Suspect's going to be on the second story. No shots have been fired yet. Copy, subject on the second story, no shots fired yet, and the responsible is wearing all black. And just be advised, he still says, does still have three people inside. The units be advised, he does have a stash of bullets around his neck. There's no lock on the door of Building G. Jeff, law enforcement officers are largely surrounding the Hillside Veterans Home here. There's an emergency medevac helicopter standing by. Hostage negotiators are trying to make contact uh, with the gunman in the room in which he burst in early this morning. My father is here at the vet's home. He's been here about 10 years. He is on the south side of the property in the Eisenhower building which from what I've been able to find out, the activity is going on on the north side. So at least I know he is not close, uh, but still they're sheltered in place. I have not been able to get a phone call in to him. Public is a public building. It's, it's for the Napa Valley. It's the Napa Valley Performing Arts Theater. And um, they're doing a play up there next week called uh, well, it's Guys and Dolls, and they're up there practicing because their play is up there next week. How long it took? And is that on the She was here from where the incident took place? She was not. She was not. It's across the way. And the building, I believe, is behind it. Building G is where the active situation is. Well, Trace, it is a fluid situation right now. We know, as you mentioned, the SWAT team has swarmed the area. We've learned that this all happened around 1030 this morning. You mentioned inside of building G there at the veterans home. We're told that this is all taking place inside the dining room there in building G and witnesses say that they saw a man dressed in black armed with a military style rifle and what looked to be body armor take at least three hostages and now reports that at least one shot had been fired. We don't know if there's any injuries. As I mentioned, this is a very fluid situation, but authorities have not only shut down that home, but the surrounding area. There's actually a golf course right next to this veterans home. All the golfers cleared from there and the veterans home actually just released a statement on Twitter. I'm going to read part of it for you. They say law enforcement is at the veterans home right now following reports of gunfire. The safety of our residents workers in the community is our top priority. We have activated our emergency response protocol and are cooperating with law enforcement. As you mentioned, Trey, some of these veterans uh, go back all the way to World War II. We're being told that every veteran inside this home, roughly a thousand or so, are still being told to shelter in place as authorities continue to try to figure out exactly what is going on on the ground there, Trey. Awesome. Yeah, it's sad that so many people have to deal with this today. Oh, God. Thank you, God. Thank you. How old are your kids? 15 and 18. Go hug them. Describe how you're feeling. Awesome. So thankful. So thankful.
All right, let's, very, let's watch for them. They're, they're coming. Yeah, they're coming. Okay, it's one of these kids. Oh, my God. They're in a white BMW. Yeah, I'm fine. I think this is them. Oh, my God. Please see them. <laughs> There's a them? camera right there. Is that them? That's them. There's my kids. I don't have that information. We have quite a few hostage negotiators uh, working to a peaceful resolution to this, and uh, we have not reached out to family members to ask them to negotiate with us at this time. Who is the hostage team right now? Who is our hostage team? Napa County Sheriffs, Napa Police Department, and the Federal Bureau of Investigation. 